Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, and I'm going to do a What's Sold the last two weeks of September on both uh, eBay and Poshmark. So um, I have my tabs all up, ready to show you. And if you hear lawnmowers, it's because my lawnmower guy is here, of course, right when I want to do the video. And uh, he's blocking the driveway, and now my uh, the post office girl has to walk. She just stopped in front, and she has to walk all the way back to get my packages. So anyway, a lot going on here. Uh, I want to tell you what I sold. I sold 40 items on eBay. This is the last two weeks in September. 40 items on eBay and three Poshmark sales which is good, just getting started. And I had one uh, return because of size. It wasn't uh, anything I did, so they returned it and I just relisted it. <clears throat> so, I uh, hope you can't hear that lawnmower too bad. So let me share my screen and get started and show you uh, what I sold and then we'll talk Afterwards. Okay, here's the first thing. And this sold on the 16th. So this is from the 16th till the 30th of September, these sales. Uh, this is a Chico's uh, top size three, so it's a good size top, and it had three quarter sleeves, and I thought this was a really pretty bright design when I got it. It sold for the uh, sale price of $17.99. I had a 10% off sale going this whole time, uh, I believe the whole two weeks that I these sales came in. So $17.99, and then, um, I'll tell you about the calculator I found online to figure out how you act, what your net amount is. But after uh, they paid shipping, and then after I take my label, shipping label off, and the fees off, and the cost of goods off, I made $12.63 on this. So I'll just tell you the two, uh, the two figures. Uh, So the next thing, I sold a fanny pack for $11.99. It sold for the regular price. It shipped for free. And so I only made $6.03. But this fanny pack was mine. I had a couple of them. So I sold this one. This was a leather one. And uh, it, it went for free shipping. So a pair of Dockers men's corduroy pants. I've had these quite a long time. They were size 34 by 32. They were men's. And they sold for a best offer of $13.50 I took on these. So after taking everything off, I netted only $7.84. And we'll talk about uh, prices and uh, how much you net after this. Uh, here's a Eddie Bauer women's large. This is an open cardigan and it sold for a best offer of 17 or no a sale price of 1709 and they paid shipping and then I after all the fees and everything I made $12.16 net. Here is a Brooks Brothers uh, men's wool leather varsity jacket. I don't know, Sue, if you remember, uh, if you're here yet, if you remember, I picked this up at a garage sale. It was super heavy. It needed to be cleaned. And I thought, well, this is worth quite a bit, so I'll just get it cleaned. Well, I took it in to have it priced to have it cleaned. It would have cost me 50 some dollars to have this coat cleaned because of the leather. 
So I put it on as is. I said it needed cleaned. And I did finally sell it for best off of $31. Or no, I sold it for the sale price of $31.49. They paid shipping. And I netted $26.53. And I believe I paid $5 uh, for that jacket at a garage sale. Here's a little pair of Crocs uh, slingback ballet flats. This may have been the second time I sold these. I think the first time they may have come back. I don't remember. Uh, but when I sold them, they looked so familiar like I had sold them a while back. Anyway, they sold uh, for a best offer of $15. And I, at, after everything taken out, I only netted $8.97. Here's a 41 Hawthorne. It's the brand, a women's size medium uh, long sleeve sweater. And that sold for a uh, sale, or no, a best offer of $20. So then after they paid shipping, and after everything, I made a, a net figure of $15.05. Okay, Talbot's uh, women's dress pants. These were a nice pair of gray, uh, gray dress pants. And they sold for best offer of $16. And after everything, I netted $10.08. Here's a Quacker Factory women's uh, knit top. I'm not sure, but I'm maybe... I think Bumblebee sent this. It was so pretty. The, uh, the embroidery on it was really pretty. It had embroidery on the sleeves also. So that went for a best offer of $17.50. And everything taken out, I netted $11.72. It's a pair of SAS or SAS, San Antonio Shoe Company, women's eight narrow. Uh, I thought these would go faster than they did, but I think them being narrow is what held them up a little bit. Uh, I did take a best offer of $19.50 on those. And after uh, all the fees and everything, uh, I netted $15.80. Here's a Pebble and Stone. This is an anthropology brand, a medium tunic, and uh, along the bottom it had a sheer, like a handkerchief hem on it. It was real pretty. And that sold for the sale price of $22.49. And after everything, I netted $16.56. It's a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. These were gray, and they had a, like a reptile print in them. And uh, they sold for they sold for a best offer of eighteen fifty. And they they took forever to pay for these, even though you're supposed to pay right away. Well, no, not for a best offer. They they give them an awfully long time to pay for a best offer uh, things. But she finally paid, and I believe they had to send her a, uh, a notice about the late payment, and she finally paid. But any, anyway, they sold for $18.50, and I netted, after everything, $12.24. Here's a uh, blouse, size one and one or two. It's a slip over, real slinky blouse. And it had uh, metal detailing around the neck. It was uh, real pretty. And it was a uh, crepey fabric, black. And it sold for uh, best offer of $18.50. They paid $4 shipping. And then after all the fees and everything else, I made $11.37.
Uh, here's a shirt, Eli Cattleman's Men's Western Shirt. They pearl snaps on it, and it's sold for the sale price of $16.19. I probably should have had that marked a little higher. But it went to somebody, a man in Odessa, Texas, a real Western guy. And uh, I netted $11.28 on that shirt. Here is a, a dress I had had for quite a while, a BCBG Max Azuria uh, medium. This is a stretchy pull-on dress, uh, very, very fitted. Had three-quarter sleeves. It was a beautiful print on this. And it sold for the sale price of $22.49. And after everything, I netted $16.12. The tie, I think this is the only tie I sold this two weeks. Luciana Gotti, uh, silk tie, a geometric pattern, and it sold for $8.99, which I have a lot of my ties marked and they're free shipping. But when I see how much I net on these ties, of course, I'm only paying uh, like 85 cents because I get them when I have the 35% off coupon. So I'm only paying like 85 cents, but I'm netting $3.80 on the ties that I mark $8.99 with free shipping. So I might raise my ties up a little bit. Uh, this is uh, Zenergy by Chico's, size 2.5. Uh, I don't have mark what that size is actually in... Uh, it's like a large, I think. Anyway, it had uh, elastic around the waist, but it had a zipper and a button, and then it had leg pockets on it also. And that sold for a best off of $18. They paid shipping, and after everything else, fees and such, I made $12.97. Uh, shirt here, Luciana Barbera. Uh, large, a uh, size large in a plaid, a casual work, it said on the label, casual work sh shirt. It was made in Italy and it went for the sale price of $17.99. And that went to somebody in Colorado. And after everything, I made $11.24. It's a pair of born uh, shoe boots ankle boots. These were really nice. They looked uh, almost brand new. They were size eight and a half medium. Uh, if they had just been a little bit bigger, I would have probably kept these shoes, but they were a little tight on me. So I did sell them and they went for the full price of $34.99. I love when that happens. <laughs> and after everything, I made $27.69. Here's a Mark Echo uh, men's black western shirt, long sleeve, had pearl, uh, pearl snap buttons, not buttons, pearl snaps, had flip cuffs on it. Uh, I think you can see here. It's real pretty. And uh, it went for a best offer of $21. And after all the fees and shipping and everything, I made $13.67. <clears throat> and here's one of the lamps, the global lamps that I bought. These were the lamp bases. Uh, this had that broken piece. I bought two of them. One was the little girl and one was the little boy. And this was the girl in the apple tree. It's named Apple Tree Girl, <laughs> Lamp Base. So uh, I did, did take a best offer of $30 on it, packed it up really good, and I made a net total of $22.28. The little boy is still here. Okay, here's a uh, pair of men's jeans, Buckle black, uh, 
one fit. I think that uh, Bumblebee sent these to me. And they sold for the regular asking price of $34.99, which maybe I had marked too low. Uh, because she, uh, she says I have some of my things marked too low in Poshmark. So this may be a mark too, too low. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I netted $26.78 on those. Uh, Brooks Brothers Large V-neck. This is Italian uh, lamb's wool sweater in a size large. And that sold for a best offer of $19. And after the fees and shipping and everything, I made $12.79. A pair of Big Star 1974 jeans. Uh, these were in a 26 uh, regular in the Alex style. Uh, Mid-rise, your skinny jeans. And those sold for 10% off sale at $26.99. And after everything, I netted $19.75. Here's a Lucky Brand men's uh, extra large casual shirt. Uh, this was after I had had a couple days of no sales. And I was starting to get really worried. This is right before I called eBay. So I got a best offer on this of $10.50, which I took because I've heard if you can take some low offers and get things started on your uh, in your sales, sometimes it spurs it on in eBay to get things going. So that's what I was trying. I know I took a low best offer on this, that, but after everything, I only made $5.56 on this shirt. But <clears throat> And here's an example of why I'm not going to buy these low price things anymore. This is a Fire King loaf pan. I've had this for quite a while. It's in the peach luster uh, color. It was a quart uh, bread pan. And I had it on there for only $6.29 because they're not worth that much in resale. So I took a best offer of finally of $5 and I made a grand total of $1.90. Now I believe I paid a dollar for this actually. So I made really, well, I made the not $1.90 because all that rest is taken out. Not too good. Um, Banana Republic. This is a women's extra fine merino wool v-neck sweater. Uh, that sold for the sale price of $20.69. And after all fees and shipping and everything and cost of goods, I made $15.63. It's a pair of born women's. These were like fisherman sandals. Uh, they looked like they hadn't been worn maybe one or two times. They were really nice. They were size eight. If they had been one size bigger, they would have fit me really well and I would have kept them. But they sold for the sale price of $25.19. And I made $20.37. Uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, heavy, a long sleeve white knit, knit top with this pretty collar on it and the buttons. Uh, I had even forgotten I had this. Now, this is after I had called eBay and <clears throat> they told me how to refresh my whole store. So we'll talk about that after I get done here. This is one of the things I had forgotten completely that I even had it. So I'm sure it was never up in search at all. But anyway, it sold for the sale price of $20.69. And uh, I made $14.60 on that. 
Here's another item that I got from Bumblebee. This is by Orifice, and it was a skort. Uh, it was linen in this beautiful pattern. I love this fabric. And it sold for a best offer of $19. And after everything, I made $13.49. Another thing that Bumblebee sent me, these were gypsies and moon dust, women's red floral lounge pants. Uh, they would have been great for Florida or on a cruise or uh, any place summery. <laughs> they were pull on, they had elastic waist on the back, and those sold for the full price of $24.99. And ef after everything, they, uh, I netted $19.44. Now, they went global shipping somewhere. I haven't found out yet where they, they, where they went. But uh, they went out of the United States someplace. So I'll be curious to find that out. American Eagle Women's Brown Herringbone Wool Jacket. I've had this also quite a while. Um, this came after my call to eBay, <laughs> and I did take a best offer of $18 because I've had it a while, even though it's coming into that time of year for blazers and things. But after everything, I made $14.11 on that. A pair of Levi's, uh, $5.19. New with tags, these were extreme skinny, and I, I see I wrote skinning on there instead of skinny. Oh, dear. But they sold. Uh, they were black, stonewashed, 33 by 30 men's jeans, and uh, let's see. They were, oh, I have the wrong thing here. They sold for uh, $30. No, I have written here they sold in a sale. That can't be right. $30. It says here $38.69. Anyway, I don't know. I think this is a mistake on my paper. But anyway, I have here I made $15.76. So that I have to recheck that. Um, uh, Brooks Brothers men's dress shirt. This is a slim, uh, this is a micro, um, uh, a micro hound's tooth. I don't know if you can see it there, but it sold for, um, uh, the regular price of $24.99. Went to somebody in California and, uh, after everything I made $18.75. Now, I've sold several things to California. And let me just say this before I forget at the end. But a lot of times when somebody buys things, especially men, they don't uh, ask for a better price. They sell with what the things are listed for. I've noticed that recently. So, yay, California. Okay, here's New Era baseball cap. This was uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, this sold for $11.99, free shipping. Now, this went to Miami, Florida, but it went to a, I can't pronounce the name, but after his name, it says laundry person, and then it's on the Norwegian Jewel which sounds like a cruise ship to me. So I'm thinking that this goes to some, this went to somebody that works on a cruise ship in the laundry. So that was kind of interesting. I only made $5.89 on it, but I thought that was fun. Uh, Columbia men's extra large swim shorts. Uh, these went for a best offer of $15. After everything, I only netted $10, $10 even on those. Ann Taylor Loft medium sweater dress or tunic, 
whatever, uh, I wasn't quite sure if it was a tunic or a mini dress. But anyway, it went for a best offer of $15.50, and I made $9.96. This is another item I've had for a long time, and it just appeared after my after refreshing my whole closet. So there you go. Uh, Brooks Brothers Men's Slim Fit Dress Shirt. Uh, this uh, went for $19.99. Is that the right one? No, I'm on the wrong slip. This went for $24.99, the regular price. Yay. Uh, after everything, I made uh, $18.76 on that. And the last thing from eBay is this uh, Brooks Brothers Regent Men's. I just got this. I think it was me and not Bumblebee. I think I got I got this. It hasn't been up for sale very long. Anyway, I took a best offer of $22 and made $15.68 on that. Now, let me try. Not sure if I can do this. If you can see, this is now a Poshmark. I've made three Poshmark sales. Uh, this was a sequin skirt, a little mini skirt. This was in perfect condition. Beautiful little skirt. I sold it sold for $18 and my earnings was $14.40. It's so easy on Poshmark. <laughs> you know you know right away. You don't have to figure anything out. So I made $14.40. Okay, this is a Gap uh, sweater. This, I believe, had been mine. And I put this into Poshmark long before I really started doing much with it. It was had its entire... Poshmark bin, in fact. I think when I first started Poshmark, I separated things. I didn't cross list. I had th certain things on Poshmark and just the rest on eBay. But anyway, I had a heck of a time finding this because it was in a, another bin in the other room. But it only sold for $8. I only made $5.05. But that's all right because it came from my closet. It didn't really cost me anything. Speak up. Uh, this is a Vince Camuto uh, long sleeve blouse. And this uh, had interesting buttons on it here. They were like uh, little cones, metal buttons. And that sold for $22.00. Or no, that was my fee. It sold for $28, and my fee, or what I got, was $22.40 for this blouse. So let's see if I can get back to where I belong here. Stop screen sharing. Here I am. Okay, that is what I sold the last two weeks. Now, I had last week, last week on Tuesday, on Monday, I had sold over $150 worth. Tuesday was zilch. Wednesday, I sold one thing. Thursday was one thing. Friday, was zero. That's when I got concerned and I thought about calling eBay. But uh, I called either late Friday or Saturday morning and I started getting sales in like a couple hours after uh, I called them. And they told me how to refresh your, your entire store. You can do it with Bulk Editor. You just do 500 items at a time and you just uh, refresh. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do sell similar or 
or relist or anything. You just put them on again. You just re it's not really relisting. But um, after I did that, within a couple hours, I started getting some sales. So I got Saturday was okay, Sunday was okay, but Monday, when I didn't even have a sale going, because I usually have at least a 10% off sale going. So I hadn't, I had forgotten to re-up the sale for Monday. I didn't have any sales going, and I sold $243.96. Uh, so it was a really good day for me, and I was really happy about that. So I thought, well, I'm going to just try and see. Maybe I don't need to have a sale going. So uh, yesterday it was down to around $50. So this morning I put another sale on. Uh, I trying 12%. Sometimes you, if you make these little 10 per, I don't know if it'll make a difference between 10% and 12% or not. But it it what a sale does is it gives you that cross out on your price and the lower price. And customers like to see that they're getting a little sale. So I don't know. It seems to have worked. Oh, you can't see the Poshmark sales? Oh, dear. Huh. Darn. wonder why. Should I try that again? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me put this on here. I'm going to share the screen and try this again. I hope I don't get knocked off here. Share screen. Okay, can you see it now? That was the little uh, sequin uh, skirt. If you can see it now, let me know because I know what I have to do then. Uh, this was a little sequin skirt that I sold for $18. And so, uh, let me know. Okay, yes. And this was the uh, that Gap sweater that I had that was from my own closet that sold for only $8. And then this Vance, uh, Vince Camuto blouse that sold for $28. So, okay, I know what I have to do uh, when I do two screens like that. So, let's try to get back here. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you were still seeing the eBay one. Yeah, it was, that screen was in back of it. And when I brought it forward, it, evidently it didn't bring it forward on the, in the share screen thing. So I have to actually go off and reshare it again. So I'll know that for next time. I hope I remember that. Anyway. So, some things I wanted to uh, talk about. I talked about the going on and ref having them refresh. Well, they didn't do it this time. They, show they showed me how to do it. So now I know how to refresh uh, my whole store when things get slow. So it might work anytime. I, she, she said you should do this every so often, refreshing your whole store. So uh, let me tell you about this calculator that I found to figure out your net, uh, your net amount that you buy. There's a couple of them. First, I ran across one that Rockstar Flipper uses, or he did use, a while back. 
Uh, all I did was Google, how do you figure out your net amount on eBay, uh, your PayPal, and your eBay fees? And it sent like three different calculators. And the one Rockstar uses, uh, that was outdated. So I didn't want to download. You don't have to download them. You just go on and they're there. But uh, the one I was using was called Calc, C A L C, C, yeah, C A L C. And, uh, but there's a couple others that probably work the same. And you just fill in your numbers and it pops up with your net amount. And I did uh, go on and hand do it. So I came out with the same amount. So it is a correct thing. Uh, so it takes, it takes in consideration if you have a store, if you're a bestseller, uh, it takes in all those things. It takes in the shipping and then what you pay for shipping and it does all that. So much easier way to figure out your net amount uh, items. Uh, I ordered... I'm getting ready for Q4, which is started now. <laughs> October 1st starts it. Uh, here's what I did. I ordered a whole lot of supplies from the post office. I've gotten everything. I have one more shipment coming of uh, some regional A boxes and some padded flat rate envelopes because I use them a lot. So I'm, I'm going to have a huge amount of supply of those. And I bought an extra big uh, roll of bubble wrap. Now, I don't use that that often, but I have it in case I have to use it. So, is everybody ready uh, with their boxes and everything? Yeah. You need lots of boxes to get ready because it's a horrible thing if you sell things. And if you're selling, you know, a bunch of things in one day and you can't find any boxes, and it's nine o'clock at night. So have your boxes ready. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, tissue paper, I have loads of tissue paper uh, from, from uh, eBay. I buy their tissue. It's nice and big. It's free with your store, uh, which, which means uh, being quarter four, I can go on and order more free stuff. So everybody that has a store can go on and order free stuff from them also. So uh, have your keep listing, have as much in your inventory as you can uh, for uh, quarter four. So I've been listing and I've been hunting for things on, since I'm learning to do Poshmark and Bumblebee, is being so helpful. I I wouldn't have known half of this stuff uh, if she isn't coaching, hasn't been coaching me. She's coaching me and she sends me an email of just about as many things as I can do that day and changing things and price adjustments and everything. And she knows not to overwhelm me in one at one time. So it's good. I'm really so grateful to her. So I am starting to get some Poshmark sales. And you do have to do an awful lot of sharing and things. Uh, it does take up time because now I have 200 and I think it's 80 some things in my inventory. So that takes about a half hour each time. And I'm trying to share my closet like three times a day. So plus adding things more to it because there's a lot of things on eBay that I can cross list uh, that I never thought of doing this cross listing and putting onto Poshmark because they're good brands that will sell on Poshmark. So I'm doing all that. <sighs> Yesterday I spent all day inside in the air conditioning because it was 90 degrees. It hit a world record for Ohio. 90 degrees, October 1st. So 
Besides letting the chickens in and out and that type of thing, I spent most of the day in the house in the air conditioning. So in this old house, I can't have air. Uh, I can't have regular uh, whole house air conditioning because I don't have a blower system. I don't have a gas line on this road. I have oil heat, which is hot water heat. So I have two big units, uh, window units, one at each end of the house, which cools down the entire uh, floor of this house, first floor. Upstairs, it's like an oven, but uh, in the summer, it has to stay warm for more than one day. But uh, I tried to put an air conditioner in the unit uh, a unit air conditioner in my bedroom window one time, but I had to uh, have an electrician here and get a dedicated line because it would blow the uh, breaker and everything. So, plus it made too much noise, number one, and it uh, took the... Uh, what I see out my bedroom window is a beautiful view. In fact, all my windows because I live out more in the country and I live on a golf course. I mean, I'm surrounded by beautiful scenery. So I didn't want to block the view. I didn't want to uh, have the noise either. So there's no air conditioning upstairs, just fans. So I can do with that. Uh, yesterday I had a junk removal guy come. I've had them before. They're called J Dog Junk Removal. And I was getting so claustrophobic, not just in this room, they can't do anything with this, but in my other rooms. I had number one, too big of furniture and too much furniture. And the upholstered furniture that I had was old damaged by my cats and I also had uh, my oldest oriental rug not real oriental uh, but I've had it for 25 years and it was getting threadbare the dog has had chewed part of the edging off and it had to go so they took uh, four pieces of furniture and that carpeting and that's not all. I'm going to, um, I'm going to get rid of at least three more pieces of furniture and a big desk. Now the big desk can't go to the junk guy because it's the bottom of a roll top. It's huge. It's in that room, right back there. But if I get rid of that, it'll give me so much room. Uh, it's mahogany. It's solid mahogany. It weighs a ton. It's huge. And the drawers, because it's so deep, the drawers have to be three feet long, each drawer. The drawers are full of stuff. So before I can get rid of it to anybody, I have to clean out those drawers. Sue, we may be taking a drawer out at a time and dumping it out on some sort of a tarp or something in the family room and going through this stuff. Because I read that you can sell lots of junk drawer stuff. There was some person sold a lot of pens. They weren't anything fancy. They were just ballpoint pens. All kinds of pens, a big lot of, I think she, there was 120 pens, and she sold it close to $20 for this bag of pens. So anyway, I'm going to go through there, lot up some stuff, and just see. It'll be fun sales uh, to do. Uh, my deck has not moved at all. It hasn't gotten any more done than it was before I talked to you. And it's very frustrating. He promises it'll be done before winter, but I'm beginning to have my doubts. Anyway, uh, 
they are cleaning out a couple houses. Uh, that he takes care of his landlord's houses. And one of them, they, kids had left a whole bunch of toys, baby toys and kids' toys that were, they say, in really good condition. So I told him to bring the toys here, and if I can get them on quick, like before Christmas, it may be a good thing. I could put them on eBay. Uh, but they have to get them to me quick here. I'm not, I don't want them in my inventory. I'm not going to put them in inventory in February. So if they get them here, okay. If not, they can take them to Goodwill. So uh, my sister is coming to visit sometime after the 11th of October. So she'll be here to do these videos with me and uh, maybe help me with my store and my eBay business and my Poshmark business soon. Uh, the garage sales will be pretty much be over with uh, by that time. They've slowed way down. And... Uh, we can go shopping. We have to go shopping for, for sure, an oriental rug and maybe a couple pieces of furniture. I have to put something in that room right off of this room because I'm afraid if I don't put, I have an empty room there except for some tables. I'm afraid my eBay business will spread out into another room, and I really don't want that. <laughs> so... I have to get some furniture. Anyway, uh, after they removed the rug from that room, and there's no furniture, there's actually an echo in that room now, my dog didn't know what to do. Dexter did would not walk across that expanse of bare floor. I had to actually put a throw rug in the middle, and then he'd run to the throw rug, and then he'd run into here. But he needed that island of a throw rug. He's such a chicken. So yesterday when I was done in here, I went out and he had all his toys. Well, a few toys. Uh, one of his stuffed animals, a ball, and his bone laying on that little rug. And he was laying there with it. That's where he laid on that rug. He was claiming it to be his, I guess. So we didn't take his rug away. Uh, also, so he was very confused about the furniture being taken out. Poor Dexter. So, uh, yeah, Sue. I hope uh, I hope you really think it's fun. You mean the cleaning out the drawers part? That'll be fun, I think. Yeah. So that is all I have to say about today and my sales for the last uh, part of September. Now I'm hoping that things go gangbusters starting in quarter four. Yeah, that's funny. Poor Dexter. Uh, oh, and Bumblebee, I have a few more things to list. And maybe if you get ready to send a box, maybe within a week or so, about a week, it should be good. Good timing. So <clears throat> I love your emails, Bumblebee. They are really, I so appreciate them. You don't even know. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep up. I did all the things uh, that you suggested on the last big email. And uh, I continue to search through eBay. eBay is easy to search brands in of what I have in my store. And then I can just uh, uh, cross-list those. So I will close for now. And uh, see you in a few days. Uh, if I get a... Well, I won't get a box that soon, I don't think, but I may just stop in uh, someplace and uh, search for, actually have to search for furniture. Maybe I'll take you with me when we go furniture hunting. I do have a, a uh, GoPro now. I have a bunch of stuff on GoPro. Yeah, I learned how to refresh my store. Uh, 
I uh, have a GoPro. I haven't edited anything. I've taken several videos about um, lots of different things, just mostly testing it out. The, the uh, picture is so clear on the GoPros. It's a really good camera. So, but I, you have to edit everything before you put it on. You have to download it or upload it, whatever it is, to uh, your computer uh, into your editing software and then put it on. So I, I, I feel that's a waste of my time when I should be doing uh, this eBay and uh, Poshmark stuff. So I should take one day and just do that. Uh, my daughter is becoming a little more interested in this reselling thing also. She wants money immediately, though, because she has to make money, you know. And uh, her time is spent, if it's not spent on her job, on her photography job, then she does bartending a couple days a week. Uh, and then the rest of the time is spent with her horse. And she's not willing to give up any time is the problem. So unless she comes out here, and I can start to show her what to do. And I think uh, she has to know she's not going to make money right away. And I think that'll discourage her. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll say bye for now. And I will see you in a few days. Bye.